afternoon. Welcome back again. This is Russ Lambert. One more thought for you. I came up with this and I just I tried to shrug it off and I just couldn't. Joe Biden, just when you think he has said the stupidest thing he can possibly say, he opens his mouth again. You know, I, I think somebody needs to get his attention and remind him of the old proverb. It is better to remain silent and be thought a fool than to open your mouth and remove all doubt. Who was it? Maybe Confucius or whoever's supposed to said that. Anyway, I'm beginning to understand what, I think it was Barack Obama. I'm beginning to understand what he was talking about when he made the comment about Joe's ability to mess things up. You know, and, and, and I'm going to tell you the truth. There for a long while, I thought he was making a mistake by staying in his basement for as long as he did. What they call put a lid on it. I, I, th I thought that was a mistake, but it's turning out that maybe he should have never come out of it. I want to show you this video clip from his town hall that was just the other day. I'm the proud mom of two girls, eight and ten. My youngest daughter is transgender. The Trump administration has attacked the rights of transgender people, banning them from military service, um, weakening non-discrimination protections, and even removing the word transgender from some government websites. How will you, as president, reverse this dangerous and discriminatory agenda and ensure that the lives and rights of LGBTQ people are protected under U.S. law. Well, oh, flat out, just change the law. Every, eliminate those executive orders, number one. You may recall, I'm the guy who said, uh, I was raised by a man who, uh, I remember I was being dropped off. My, my, my dad was a high school educated, well-read man who, uh, was a really decent guy, and I was being dropped off to get, get an application in the center of our city, Wilmington, Delaware, the corporate capital of the world at the time. And these two men, I'm getting out to get a, an application to be a lifeguard in the African-American community because it was a big swimming pool complex. And, uh, and these two men, well-dressed, leaned up and hugged one another and kissed one another. And I'm getting out of the car at the light, and I turn to my dad. My dad looked at me and said, Joey, it's simple. They love each other. The idea that an eight-year-old child or a 10-year-old child decides, you know, I decided I want to be transgender. That's what I think I'd like to be. It may make my life a lot easier. There should be zero discrimination. And what's happening is too many transgender women of color are being murdered. They're being murdered. I mean, I think it's up to now 17. Don't hold me to that number, but it's it's, it's incredible. It's, it's higher now? Yeah. And that's just this year. And so I promise you, there is no reason to suggest that there should be any right denied your daughter or daughters, whichever one or two, one, one yeah. your daughter, that your other daughter has a right to be and do. None. Zero. When I watched it for the first time, my thought was no way No way did he just say that. So I watched it again. And just about lost my lunch. Quote, and I'm quoting Mr. Biden. The idea that an eight-year-old child or a ten-year-old child decides, you know, I want to be transgender. That's what I think I'd like to be. It'd make my life a lot easier. There should be zero discrimination, close quote. That's coming from a man that wants to be our president. Zero discrimination. Does that mean mom and dad can't tell them no? If that little girl comes in here and says, hey, I want to be a boy, and if mom or dad tells them no, is that discrimination? You're going you gonna to come get the parents? Does it mean that if the kids who live next door that's used to playing with them every day, if the kids next door refuse to, to play make-believe with them, 
Are you going to come after them too? Does that make them a bigot? Now, folks, this whole mess right here, it ain't nothing but a big pile of you-know-what. You want to make life easier for an 18-year-old kid, for a confused 18-year-old child? For starters, how about just give them a decent set of parents? I'm talking about parents who will teach them and lead them in what's right. I'm talking about parents that will face, that'll face tough issues head on and deal with them rather than stick their head in the sand and take the easy way out. I, I'm, I'm talking about parents that'll be honest enough and love their children enough to tell them the truth, help them deal with the issues that they have, help them get through it, and not surrender to it. I can, I can understand a child may have curiosity, you know, about what it'd be like to, to be this or be that. I can imagine a little boy wondering what it'd be like to be a little girl or the other way around. But being curious about it or even daydreaming about it is probably not a big deal. But when you start talking about hormones and therapy and transgender and sex change and all this other stuff, that is a big deal. That's, that's, well, I'm going to say it like, I'm, I'm going to say what I'm thinking. To allow a confused little boy at eight years old to make this kind of a decision, that is the worst form of child abuse there is. That kid, and I think she said she's got two kids, both her kids ought to right now be in the custody of Child Protective Services. And, and I'm saying right now, but before now would have been better. But just one more thought. If an eight-year-old little boy, if all he has to do is, is claim he wants to be a little girl, and Mama makes it so, what's Mama going to do when the 10-year-old decides that she wants to be a French poodle. I always heard it said that it takes all kinds of people to make up a world. But I'm convinced there's a few kinds we'd be better off without. Tell me what you think. That's my two cents. Tell me what you think. Till next time, be good to one another, and God bless you.